Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have three urgent messages from your future spouse. This message will help you increase your levels of compatibility for a long-term, healthy, happy relationship. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling. I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation to allow your mind to settle into your spirit. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and blow it out to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. Hello darling. If you selected the P. Olive Green Butterfly this reading is for you. So I'm going to go over the three urgent messages from your future spouse. Okay, I'm excited. I'm very excited to hear what these messages are. Okay, the first message from your future spouse is relationships are complicated. Mm. So what I think this means is that they want you to be a person who's in it for the long haul. They want you to understand that marriage is not just giving and receiving. It's also coming in with the attitude of we're going to be together and we're going to make this work. And that this is not a fairy tale. So I think your future spouse is telling you throw away all of the previous beliefs you've held about marriage and understand that it's relationships are complicated and that you know people have different needs and they come from different backgrounds so your future spouse really wants you to be well read and to come into the relationship with a, a strong commitment to learn some things about their culture to learn something about who they are as an individual and they are willing to do the same thing for you they are saying that they also need space. They're going to need space as an individual. Even though they're going to marry you or be with you, they're still going to ha have needs as a per as an individual, like time to develop hobbies or learn new skills, or sometimes they may have to work late. They want a person, they want you to understand that the relationship is only going to work if you are truly, truly committed. So they want you to understand that relationships are complicated. So if you're coming in with a fairy tale view about marriage and thinking it's going to be super easy, your future spouse is saying that is going to decrease your compatibility and may lead to, um, you know, a breakup or a possible divorce. But if you come into it with a very mature idea about what relationships are and how people have different types of relationships in terms of like some couples, you know, have, you know, they just have different schedules or they, you know, the, the guy says, hey, I want to do all the cooking and the laundry because I'm better at it. They're asking you to come in with a very open mind and a commitment to learning a new way of having a loving relationship. The next message that I have from your future spouse to you is, oh my God, you can't fake passion. What your future spouse want you to know is that 
there has to be a chemistry like there ha and they want you to have a very healthy attitude towards sexuality like knowing who you are as a person uh, knowing what your needs are um, in terms of intimacy they want you to come in um, being willing to learn about what their needs are and what they mean when you say you can't fake passion if there isn't a sexual chemistry between you and that person they're telling you that it's not going to work so one of the signs that you're going to have to know that this person is your future spouse is that you're going to have a natural chemistry together because they're saying that that is very important to them they really yeah your future spouse is saying look we need to have a very intimate juicy rich sex life okay I need a lot of kisses I need a lot of affection I need us to be attracted to each other and they're saying that if that isn't there the marriage isn't going to work so my advice is based off of this message I think you should know that if the chemistry isn't there from the beginning that person is probably not your future spouse the last message I have from your future spouse is let's see Alrighty, what is the message they have? Oh my God, they said the kiss never lies. Oh my God, your future, oh I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Your future spouse is saying that you are going to know that they are the one because there's going to be a lot of passion in the kiss. And you know what's so interesting about this hand? Is they said, um, what is it you can't fake passion and the kiss never lies this is pretty much look the kiss never lies and you can't fake passion the kiss never lies sorry and you can't fake passion so they're what they're saying is child let me tell you something your future spouse is has a very I would say have a very high sex drive this is a person who enjoys life they like to have a good time they want to eat well travel well they want a person who wants to they, they really want like somebody who wants to have fun with them go you know maybe go out dancing travel this person is very what's the word very um, extroverted very um, into enjoying life um, another thing that just popped in my head is that I I'm just going to be honest, I have a feeling that this is going to be a person who is a little flirtatious and um, because that's just who, that's just their nature. Usually when people have a high um, charismatic sexual energy about them, they exude a certain, um, you know, charisma, a certain, um, yeah, they, they, they're flirtatious. But they're saying not to worry about it because they're going to be faithful to you and they also are saying this is what's coming into me is that you need to set firm boundaries like you know like maybe you know you shouldn't be out past three o'clock or I don't like it when you listen your future spouse is a person who's saying look I need to have a good time I want a very juicy rich loving kind of you know exciting intimate sex life with my mate that is very important to them that is their message to you and they're saying so child if you don't know about it there's some good books out there you need to go read about you know just a lot of books about human sexuality to get so that you can have an understanding about your body and their body this is a person who is very um like i said flirtatious very charismatic and they oh and then it says relationships are complicated yeah to me, your future, listen, you got, you got a hot tamale. You have a hot tamale coming, okay? This is a person who you're going to need to keep up. If you're going to be with this person, child, go to the gym now. Take care of yourself now because they have high energy. To get ready for your, your future spouse, I really think you should work on your second chakra and carnelian is a really good gemstone for working on your second chakra also um, orange calcite this is another so just think orange the second chakra has to do with your um, it's two inches below your navel it's where all the your you know reproductive goodies are 
and I think you should also work on your root chakra and I think if I were you work on your third chakra too maybe with some uh, tiger's eye and um, what else could you sunstone is good too for your for your uh, third chakra the reason I'm telling you to do this is because you're gonna really need high self-esteem because you're gonna have a high energy this person and I really think you should take care of yourself so work on your third chakra to make sure that your self-worth self-esteem that you're not jealous you know because it's just this uh, the flirting and outgoing personality is just their nature when they say relationships are complicated I think that's a part of the energy of this high you know having this high sex drive and being very charismatic um, you know they want you to know that they're going to be faithful to you but I think it's going to have to be something that you work on like I really think you're going to have to set boundaries with this person and be very clear um, I think this is a person who is capable of possibly cheating but you're going to have to keep up if you don't let them travel by themselves because they're telling you now look I want to have a good time be ready so anyway this is the message that came through to me today I really hope this helps uh, thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this is the message, the urgent message from your future spouse. I'm going to go over the three cards with you to see what they have to say. So the first urgent message from your future spouse, let me turn her around. From jungle we have jungle beauty goddess Sinai and her and the message on the card is what childhood experiences are playing out in your love life so this is telling me that this is a person who is very close to their family okay I have a feeling that they're close to their family but there's also like if they have issues with their mom or their dad that's going to come out in the marriage they're also telling you to be aware of whatever issues that you may have with your parents that's probably going to play out in the marriage I got a feeling this may be a sort of a a soulmate type person I don't want a soulmate twin flame but here's the person you're going to be working out some some drama with because what childhood experiences are playing out in your love life this means that yeah, some karma, some karmic contracts, some karmic relationships, some issues that you guys have reincarnated to work out together. Maybe it's, this has been a pattern um, throughout your life, a pattern throughout your previous relationships. So just know that this may be a little trying. So I want you to think now that if you, I always tell people, if you, you know, I tell my students, I tell anybody, when you find a person who don't get along with their parents, I always tell people to run. Uh, even even if it's the parents' fault, because the first your first love on this planet is your parents. Your first, if you're a girl, you, you know, like if you, your first love is your, you know, is your dad or your mom, whatever. I'm just trying to say your first love is your parents. They're the first pe people to kiss you, the first people to tell you I love you. And when those relationships are traumatic, or you don't trust people, or they haven't been consistent in your life this makes it difficult for you to trust for you to be intimate for you to have a healthy relationship but the way you can do it is to forgive them so one of the things uh, if you have some issues with your parents I always tell people to do the Hono Ono, I don't know how to pronounce the Hono Ono, it's when you say, I love you, I'm sorry, thank you, please forgive me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong, what it does is that it transcends the energy in the relationship to one of forgiveness. So let's just say your mother is a, is a horrible person, but maybe in a previous lifetime you could have been a horrible person to her. You could have killed her hus husband, Like I know this may sound crazy, but there's usually a lot of energy and a lot of karmic contracts where people agree to come back and work things out but the way you evolve the way you transcend those relationships is through forgiveness so I'm going to tell you now that the way to have a healthy relationship with your future spouse is to be aware of what of whatever issues you had going on with your parents whether these are foster parents or your birth parents or caregivers or guardians 
whoever you looked at in terms of a, par a parental authority figure, I like for you to forgive them, okay? The next message I have from your future spouse is, and let's see what we have going on here. Your love, oh my, ah, oh, what did I say? Your love is as ancient as the sea. Didn't I say this was some karmic stuff going on? Mm. This is a this is a either a twin flame or a soulmate. I am having the feeling this is a twin flame. Oh, dear Lord, those relationships are a lot of work. Um, your love is as ancient as the sea, which means that you have been together in an infinity of of lifetimes. You have worked on issues you have been together you have been in every you know scenario possible you you were the male one time and they were the female and vice versa and this relationship has been going on for a very long time there are a lot of patterns and there's a, there are a lot of vows and a lot of contracts that were made prior to this re this incarnation it's going to be a lot of work so i have one more card from your future spouse and the card that I have for you, we have Journal Beauty Goddess Sinai, and she says, you are only as sexy as you feel. So what this message means is, what's popping in my head is that your future spouse is telling you that they really want you to have a high level of self-esteem coming into this relationship. So if you come into this relationship feeling beat down by your childhood, if you come in feeling insecure, that is only going to make this relationship that, that much more traumatic. So what they're saying is you are only as sexy as you feel, that if you're looking for this person to give you self-esteem and give you compliments and, you know, and boost you up, this may not be the relationship that's you know this is going to be hard this is going to be hard but if you come so i'm going to don't be listen don't be afraid i just want to tell you what you need to have a healthy relationship with your future so spouse. what you need to have a healthy relationship with your future spouse the most important thing you need to do is forgive your parental figures your guardians the people who took care of you i don't care if the, you know i don't care what happened Find a way, go to counseling, child, do what you have to do. You know, say, I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please forgive me. Just repeat it. I always tell people, repeat it for three days, like nonstop. Like every time you think about them, you'll feel the energy shift. You you forgive people for yourself, not for them. It frees you up. It, it nullifies your karmic contracts and vows, okay? The second thing I'm going to tell you to do in order to have a healthy relationship is to make sure that you work on your third chakra you can use a tiger's eye you can use a um, sunstone um, I'm trying to think of some other any yellow yellow a citrine any yellow gemstone for your third chakra which is two inches above your navel work on your self-esteem work on feeling good about yourself also um, and just know that when you meet this person that this may be a person that you've come to um, work out a spiritual contract. So either if that person is working on themselves and you are working on yourself right now after hearing this message, you guys are going to have a beautiful and loving and healthy relationship. But if that person comes into the relationship and they're, you know, they have a lot of childhood issues with well, you with somebody and they start talking about, oh, I hate my dad or I hate my mom or this happened or they had a really bad childhood and they haven't gone to counseling and they're not meditating and they're not doing things to um, overcome their past. I would say this may not this marriage may end the divorce. But if I were you, I start sending that person love and light right now because you already have a heads up on this is their message to you. So I would send love to them. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Hello, darling. If you selected the pink butterfly, this reading is for you. So I am going to go over the three cards with the urgent message from your future spouse. The first card I have for you from your future spouse is... I'm going to get it in uh, focus here. We have Dr. Lunar M. Crater. He says, you won't know if what you have is real until you give it your all. Wow. So this person is telling you right now that they expect you to put a lot of work into the relationship. They don't want you to come in thinking, well, you know, I'm going to hold back because I've been hurt before. They're saying, look, I don't care what happened in your previous relationships with, you know, other people. It, this relationship is not going to work unless you give it 200%. I want you coming in fresh. I don't want you coming in with walls up. I don't want you coming in bitter and angry. It says, you won't know if what you have is real until you give it your all. That is one message from your future spouse. The next message I have from your future spouse is, get on focus here, make good decisions. Okay, so what this card is saying is when they say make good decisions, woo, I know this is going to sound rough what I'm about to say, but I'm going, I, I, you know, I, sometimes I want to edit myself, but I have to say what's like my spirit has just put on my heart. Everything you do right now is going to impact your future spouse. Do you understand this? If you have unprotected sex, that is going to impact your future spouse. If you have children, you know, out of wedlock or whatever, I just want you to think about this. Whatever you are doing is going to impact the type of life you're going to have with your future spouse. And they're asking you to please make good decisions. And I think what is coming into my spirit is they're asking you not to. If you are in a relationship now, because it may be a while before you actually marry this person, they're asking you not to be with people who are abusive, not to, if you know that a person has proven themselves to be unreliable and untrustworthy, they're saying, don't come to me after you've been ran through. Ran through, beat down, and now you don't trust anybody. They're asking you to please make good decisions and preserve your heart they want your heart to be pure they want your heart to be open they don't want a wall around your heart because you just made a lot of poor decisions okay that's one message from your future spouse the next message i have from your future spouse for you is let me get it in focus here it says oh it says show tenderness Oh my God, girl or guy or person, let me tell you, your future spouse is a person who is very sensitive and they are looking for someone who is emotionally stable, psychologically healthy. They, they want somebody who can show them tenderness, show them love. This person, they, they don't want somebody who's coming in with a lot of issues, I'm, I'm telling you. So your future spouse is saying they want somebody who is willing to work hard. They want somebody who doesn't have a wall around their heart. They want somebody who is, you know, hasn't been ran through, you know, messed around with a lot of people, got all kind of stuff going on. They don't want that. They want somebody who is capable of showing them tenderness and love. This is a very, your future spouse is a very sensitive person who wants to love, wants to give love, but they want you to be in good condition and ready to, and ready and open and receptive to a rich and loving relationship. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the grayish blue butterfly, this message is for you. I'm going to go over the three cards with the three urgent messages from your future spouse. The first message that I have for you from your future spouse is trust your instincts. 
So basically, this person is telling you that they, oh my goodness, they want you, wait, let me tell you what pops into my head first, is that you may be in the vicinity, this person that you're going to marry in the future, they may already be in your life, but they're not ready right now. So they're asking you to trust your instincts and not to give up not to give up on the love so this may be a, a person who um you've been dating long distance or a person you met online or a person you just kind of felt like you know i thought we had something magical i thought we were you know something going on they're saying look it is it is exactly what you think trust your instincts but the time is just not right now so um you whoever this person is your future spouse they're telling you you know you feel my energy you feel my aura you feel my vibration i'm i'm around but i'm not ready right this second so you're you're right on point and when you get that message don't blow it like don't you know go and marry someone else or go and have ch like children with somebody else so they're telling you to preserve yourself and trust that feeling that you have about their presence about you know they're they're around you that's what i'm picking up from this particular hand the next message I have for you from your future spouse is, let's see, listen to, oh my God, again, oh my God, it says, listen to the whispers of your heart. I can't believe this. Trust your instincts and listen to the whispers of your heart. That person is nearby. Your future spouse is nearby and they are telling you, your vibe, your the energy, the vibration, the frequency that you're picking up about them is, is correct. They may not be ready to marry at this moment. They may be a few years away from actually, you know, uh, proposing or saying yes. Or they, they may even be with somebody else right now. But that person is already in your energy field. That person that you're going to marry is asking you to trust them. To trust the love that you guys have and I have one last message from your future spouse and it is let's take a look here oh I love them so much uh, it says love is a vibration that attracts like energy oh my god it says love is a vibration that attracts like energy again the your future spouse is in your vibration they are in your energy field. And whoever this person is, they're psychically, they, they are, what's the word? Um, psychically, they're reaching, they're letting you know that I am, I am your future spouse. We are going to be together. Uh, I am going to marry you. There may be circumstances or obstacles in, the pl in place right now that are preventing us from getting married. It may not be the time for us right now, but your instincts are right. So, I would tell you if I were you if I if I received this message I would prepare myself for my spouse and the way you do that to me is make a checklist of all of the things that are very important to you and a mate now I always give this advice very few people take this advice but this is golden advice okay you make a list of all of the core characteristics like do you want somebody who's faithful do you want somebody who is loving somebody who is tender somebody who um is trustworthy i mean you, you know the whole, i always go with the things that are very important to me in terms of uh, being reliable somebody who wants to have children whatever it is that you really want don't go with the outside right now i don't really like that because i have done that and i god has always surprised me and i've been like god so don't, I mean, that you can do what you want to do, okay? Because I have found that sometimes the packaging on the outside does not, just ask for the core characteristics that was very important to you. Make sure that everything on that list is something that you yourself um, possess. So if you want somebody to be loyal, you know, you try to be loyal. If you want somebody who is funny, you try to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I always hate it when people ask for a ton of things and they don't have, they don't own a, a single characteristic on the list that they expect from other people. Write this list 
I like for you to place this list in a green sock. I know this is weird. Write it on parchment paper, place it in a green sock, and then I want you to hide it. Okay, just hide it. And the reason I want you to do that is because I want you to know, like right now you're feeling the energy of this person, but sometimes people aren't ready. So let's just say that person's in your energy field, your vibration right now, but right now they're cheating on their, you know, girlfriend or boyfriend, or right now they're not, they're floating around from job to job. They don't know who they are. To me, they can still be that person, but you will know when they're ready because I think those, I would say at least those top five characteristics should stand out. Like there should be, these should be the things that are deal breakers. Like if you want kids and they don't want to have kids and that's not the one. Or if they, um, well, you know, maybe money issues. Everybody have different things that are important to them. So if I were you, I would work on myself. I would work on my finances. If you have student loans or if you're in school, try to pay them off. Try to be the person that you want. You know what I'm saying? Date yourself. Take care of yourself. Give, so you don't want to just like wait for this person to come. But you may even have to date other people. But you know, but preserve yourself. But just get ready for your mate because your mate, your future spouse, is in your vicinity. Um, they said love is a vibration that attracts like energy. Whoever this person is, they already love you. You already, you may even have an idea of who it is. But I would say go ahead and take care of yourself. Make sure you go after your dreams. Make sure that you are whole. And um, so when you guys come together, you can have a rich and loving relationship. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.